takes three seconds. And I'm gonna give it a moment of silence because it made me speechless the first time I ever saw it. Ready? <sighs> Can't even do it with nectarines. I mean, come on. All right, push it in there. Squeeze it, twist it. Come on. Oh, don't make me a liar. Darn it. It's a little more difficult, but it works. Needle nose pliers to get the pit out of a peach. How about that? Clever. <laughs> we love Chef Janet. She's one of our regulars here on Talk Pittsburgh, and she has a ton of hacks and tips on her page, including the one you just saw to get the pit out of peaches, which is a good way to introduce our next guest, our friend Patrick Elson from Gus Franco's Pizza is here to help us make the most out of National Peach Month. Right on. And this isn't the pizza that you would normally think of right off the top of your head, but you are original, my friend. Well, listen, there's a lot of people that work peaches on it, even a couple here in Pittsburgh. I'm not the only one, uh, but uh, we love our very variation of it. We've been doing it. This is the fourth year. Get some good Georgia peaches from the peach truck uh, when they come through town. And uh, we put some goat cheese on here with those freshly sliced peaches. Oh, man. And I have some speck, which uh, speck, for those who aren't familiar with it, is a prosciutto that's smoked. So it's smoked prosciutto. If you didn't think prosciutto could get better, uh, it did. It did. It did. And then uh, whenever it cooks up in the oven, some people would say that's not a great idea to put it in the oven. But it crisps up beautifully and uh, and just add some great elements to our pizza here. I can't wait to try that. So I'm getting it on there. Yeah, right on. It won't be long because uh, we're, we're, we're moving right along, Heather, to get this pizza going from start to finish. You know how quick I got to move you around do. here. I so. know. All right, so you're going to get this into your fancy portable pizza oven, too, that you yes, brought with you. Yes, correct. Um, so you have a couple different kinds of cheese. Did you just put... Um, so I, I put some, uh, yeah, I put a little Parmesan on there. I put uh, our mozzarella blend, some whole milk mozzarella, as well as some fresh mozzarella. And I uh, put that goat cheese on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch behind you okay. here. Put it right in the oven for about two minutes or so. Just like that, two minutes. That's it. I need to get me one of these. They you look should. expensive, though. But, you know, <laughs> to pizza in two minutes, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. So That's right. Remind people where Gus Franco's is. So Gus Franco's is in Lower Borough, Pennsylvania. We're right up Route 28 North. Uh, there's a little bit of a bridge issue these days. So go to uh, exit 14, <laughs> cross the Terenum Bridge. Stop at the Taco Bell intersection, make a left, go to the peak of the hill, you're right there. Those are some Pittsburgh directions. Right. The Taco Bell, make a right. <laughs> left. <laughs> left, make a left at make the a Taco left Bell the Taco intersection, Bell. go to the top of the hill. <laughs> That's right. And we're just up there doing our thing, Heather. Every day we're, we're blessed and we're loved. And uh, man, it's, it's, it's wonderful. And I can't uh, thank you enough for having me back here uh, we, today. Well, we had to. Your pizza is amazing. Thank uh, you. And so how do you come up with the new creations? It's National Peach Month. Um, so we're really celebrating this fruit, but you come up with new pizzas all the time. So yeah, we have our, our, our regular menu that features about six maybe specialty pizzas on there. Uh, but we try to keep something, we call it the pizza maker special. So every couple weeks, whatever's in season, uh, if it's a certain season time of the year, we try to work things out to keep the, the creative juices flowing and not just kind of make the same pizzas over and over again. So yeah, when, whenever we uh, saw some peaches before, we figured get some sauce with some prosciutto and some sweet with the peaches and we're gonna put some balsamic drizzle on at the end which is super easy to make we make our own in-house just some good uh, balsamic two cups of it half a cup of sh uh, brown sugar heat it up boil it bring it down to a simmer reduce it by half and there you go it's good on everything but it's awesome. gonna be great on this pizza today Do you have to do a lot of research in your job like do you go to a lot of different pizza places to try what they're working oh god with as and... many as I can Heather I yeah. mean any reason to eat more pizza <laughs> I, I'm down for it uh, but yeah <laughs> Absolutely. I, I study, I read books, I watch videos, I do anything I can to, to educate myself, especially on the, uh, the craft side of things with trying to just make good quality dough and, and feed people good quality food. And hopefully that's what I'm about to do oh with you. Oh my so gosh. That's, that's Take a look at that there. beaut. That looks amazing. And we're going to hopefully let it cool enough so we can get some. Uh, I'm going to come back through here. I was going to say, I can, uh, if I take a bite now, that looks like a day ruiner. Yeah, I do not want to. I do not want to <laughs> hurt. I don't want to hurt you, Heather. That's not why I'm here. I'm here for uh, good food and love and, and good vibes. I'm not here to hurt anybody. Have you ever done that before? Like you get that hot plate of food and you take that first oh, bite God, yeah. and you think. It was great. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was crazy is when like there's an actual temperature that you can hit it with one of these little thermal guns and you can know. I think it's around 170 degrees where it's not going to burn your mouth. So there's a okay. science there that, uh, what that are allows... we working with now? Did oh, you check it yeah, out? Yeah, I did try. just Let's check it. Let's check it out. Let's check. 
We're oh, almost it's still there. pretty <laughs> hot, Heather. What I'm going to do to get it down to, to cut a little cooler, I'm going to pull it over here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to cut a slice. And give me some balsamic on top. I'm going to put some balsamic on top of there, oh, that's for wait. sure. You know, I also, I don't remember the last time you were on if you did this too, but there's no sauce on the bottom of this. You get that olive oil that seeps through, but all those cheeses just stick to the dough so beautifully. Absolutely. It's yeah, good. this is the second pizza I've made you that has no cheese. What I'm going to do, I don't know how quick we need, but if we slide that over, that might cool enough for you to eat. But take your time and, and cool that off a little bit. But Yum. yeah, I, I mean, as many white style pizzas as we can do without having a red sauce, I think that allows the cheese and the other ingredients to kind of show through. But we use some wonderful, beautiful tomatoes from mm. New Jersey, and uh, the Garden State makes some great products over there. But uh, mm. that's the pizza, and, I, and by the sound of it, I think you might enjoy it a little I bit. Needed I, a minute. That stuff. I needed a minute. I needed a minute. That is delicious. You get that sweetness from the the goat cheese, that that extra yeah. punch, but everything else just kind of like melds together. It's very Lots of layers. It's so delicious. <laughs> I'm going to eat the rest of this on my walk back over to Studio A. We'll be right back after this. So good.